Chevrolet Bolt. It's been over a decade since General Motors sent most of its first production electric vehicle, EV, the GM EV1, to the crushers and cancelling their EV program. A lot has changed since the GM EV1 was around, especially with battery technology. While the GM EV1 launched with lean acid batteries and later updated with nickel metal hydride, lithium ion battery technology has improved drastically to become a clean energy source for cars. After producing the Volt plug in electric hybrid, PHEV, and the limited availability Spark Kev, Chevrolet finally has an all electric car for the masses. The company debuted the production Chevy Bolt to great fanfare, during a keynote from CEO Mary Barra at C's 2016. Chev Bolt Pre Production Chevy let Tecrata Ur take out a pre production Bolt for a couple laps around its autocross course at C's 2016 for an early hands on review of the car. They're remaining tight-lipped about the powertrain details until the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, but the pre-production mule was drivable. The Bolt shares the familiar face as the rest of Chevy's lineup, which is a good thing. It's recognizable as a Chevy but doesn't look goofy like the Nissan Leaf. Bolt F badges are the only distinguishable marks that identifies the car as all-electric, otherwise you could easily mistake it or Chevy Spark. I like how the car looks a lot, because it looks like a practical compact hatchback. It doesn't push any design boundaries, but it's what I expect a car practical car to look like. There's no written rule that says electric cars need to have radical designs and features like the Falcon doors on the Tesla Model X or the bitmable styling of the Faraday Future F01. Chevrolet Bolt The pre-production Bolt I drove didn't have the headlights or taillights that will be on the production car, but it makes the car look like a hot hatch. It didn't have a production interior and had everything covered up, so I can't judge the material quality or overall comfort. Infotainment System Despite the pre-production interior, the 8-inch LCD gauge cluster had sharp text and clean graphics. I'm glad Chevy used the LCD display to create user interface that's modern and not just replicating analog gauges, digitally. It displays useful vehicle information such as estimated range, energy consumption and regenerative braking, but also ties into the infotainment system to display music data and turn-by-turn -turn navigation directions. The speedometer is a large digital readout that's hard to miss while driving. Chevy Bolt Gauge Cluster Chevy's MyLink 10.2-inch infotainment display occupies a large part of the center stack and looks like a tablet. Navigating the user interface was a breeze thanks to a responsive capacitive touch display with simple menus. It's completely customizable and reminds me of Windows 10 lift tiles. There's a 2x8 grid that lets you select what you want displayed, including energy consumption, music data and connected smartphone. Chevy Bolt Infotainment The cherry on top of the MyLink 10.2-inch infotainment system is support for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which I didn't get to play with. Unfortunately, I don't foresee any compatibility issues as the Bolt isn't the first GM car to tout support for the two smartphone connectivity features. Driver Assists The Bolt will have offer forward pedestrian alert, forward collision alert, blind spot monitor and rear cross path detection, but the car I drove did not have those options. It did have the 360 degree camera and rear camera mirror though.